Welcome to March's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is check if a string contains all binary codes of size k. Given a binary string s, string with like zeros and ones, and an integer k, return true if every binary code of length k is a substring of s. So if we had this string here and a length of two, all the possible binary codes of length two are here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And we want to check to see if every single one of these appear inside the substring. Here we can see that it does. 0, 0 is here, 0, 1 is here, 1, 1 is here, and 1, 0 is like right here. So um, I think really we can probably solve this straightforwardly, uh, but there are a couple of hints here that we should keep track of. Um, basically, the big one here is the number of distinct substrings should be 2 to the kth power. And that makes sense because there's only 1s and zeros, and we want to find uh, the k length, right? So that's going to be 2 to the kth power. So rather than calculating all the different permutations we have of zeros and 1s with the length of k, uh, we can just get how many numbers are there. Uh, and I'm going to call this distinct sub, and we'll just get 2 to the kth power. Uh, that way, what we'll do is go through our string uh, and find every single substring of length, length k. And that's relatively easy. Let's, let's get the length of s here. And we'll say for i in range of, let's see, n plus 1, we are going to, uh, well, let's say if I just printed, printed this, s of i to i plus k, uh, will this look like all the substrings have been met, uh, taken care of? So here, it uh, looks like I messed up here, but it's like 0, 0, 0, 1, all the way to 1, 0. Uh, I accidentally put one more in there. Uh, let's see. It would be plus 1. I guess we got a minus k here as well, so let's try that. And there we go. So we have all the substrings possible to 1, 0. Right, so why don't we just put this inside of a set get the length and see how many distinct combinations we have in there. So what we'll do is create a tracker and I'm just gonna use the list comprehension here because all we would need to do is get this guy and put him in a list and then we'll reconvert that into a set. So we'll make this a list and then we'll reconvert that to a set. And really all we wanna see is is the length of this tracker the same as the number of distinct substrings? So is distinct substring equal to the length of tracker? So let's make sure this works. It looks like it does, so let's submit that. And there we go. So time complexity wise, it's O of n. It's actually O of n times k because every time we check here, we have to you know, check for the k length as well. Um, and I guess memory complexity, uh, space complexity would be O of n. So when you look at the solutions, I did see one other solution using a rolling hash. Uh, that's going to reduce the time complexity by not having to check the k. We instead check for each number and add it to like a hash uh, calculation. And, but, but the basic premise is the same. We're, we're trying to see if the length of all the distinct substrings are in there. Uh, but I don't want to go too into that because it's very bitwise heavy and not very intuitive. So I'm just going to keep it with this solution. If you are curious about the rolling hash, just click here with the solutions and take a look. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.